Wow, I am hiking like crazy. I hope there's no snakes here. Only thing I can think about when I'm hiking is snakes. Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy, Jermaine. Getting this video started off, I'm hiking. And today has been the roughest, one of the roughest travel days ever. Yeah, but that's okay. That's okay. I will leave tomorrow and I'm super stoked. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And for now, I uh, gotta get down here somewhere. Oh my gosh, today has just been one insane day. Like, I literally, at the last minute, well not at the last minute, but earlier today I bought a bus ticket to go to Split because I wanna go to Croatia tomorrow. So I bought a bus ticket. And I was thinking that I could just go downstairs to the hostel and like just print the ticket, right? Because today is Sunday. And on Sunday, and a lot of a lot of uh, Easter- Oh shit, what the fuck is that? I don't know, sorry. I thought I heard a snake. Anyway, let me keep talking. But anyway, I thought that I could go and print the ticket at the hostel. And no, they don't print tickets. They don't have a printer. And I'm thinking, you have all these people staying here and you don't have a printer? Okay, so I, I, they tell me to go to the bus station. They're like, well, go to the bus station. They can help you. I go to the bus station. They totally can't help me. They tell me to buy another ticket for 50 euros. And I'm thinking, 50 euros. And I said, I just need to print this ticket. And she said, well, yeah, well, we don't print tickets here. We just sell bus tickets. And I'm thinking, okay, okay, okay. You just don't want to help me. I totally get it. So I'm like, where can I go to get this bus ticket printed? They tell me to just go to the city center. Like, there'll be a place there you can get it printed. Now, before I left the hostel, they told me that everything's closed in the city center. And it's true, like, all the copy places are closed. And no big deal. I gotta figure out where I'm going now. Okay, so no big deal. The copy place is closed. So I'm walking around in the city center for, I don't know, an hour and a half. And I'm going to. I'm not going to like corporations, but I'm going to like mom and pop stores because literally mom and pop stores are the only things that are open. So I'm trying to go there and figure out a way to print a bus ticket, right? Gosh, do we go this way or this way? I just don't know. Why is my life gotta be so messed up right now? Okay, so I was there and I'm gonna still tell this story as I'm hiking. So like, I'm there and I'm trying to tell people like, I just have a bus ticket and I just need someone to print this bus ticket like I can pay you. And when I'm, when I'm thinking I can pay, when I'm saying I can pay you, I'm thinking like maybe two euros, right? And it was like six euros. And I'm thinking, that's a lot of money. So, oh, I think, I'm not paying attention here. Okay, so, I go to this place and I ask this lady, I'm like, hey, so can you print this bus ticket? And she's like, well, yeah, we don't, we don't print bus tickets. You should go to the bus station. And I'm thinking she totally doesn't get what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Like, I, want her, I just want her to print this and I'll, I'll, I'll pay you, I'll give you money, but she don't get it. So I went around to a whole lot of other places, right? Just going back and forth, just asking every random place. And it's like 5 p.m. on a Sunday and everything is like closing, except for, you know, people that are still open hustling trying to get that last bit of money before Sunday rolls down and I found this shop and lady speaks English really good the guy doesn't speak any English but they're nice enough to print it for me right and then they charge me six euros and I'm like that's the most expensive thing I ever printed in my life like it's not even in color yo this shit's in black and white so once again I'm not really tripping because it's my life, like, this is, I, I think I did something really bad and all these things are happening to me, but it's totally fun. Tomorrow I'll go to Croatia, I'll go to Split, and then I'll stay there for some time and then I'll go somewhere else. But I'm really excited to go to the place after Croatia, like, I've been wanting to go to Croatia for a long time, but it's high season in Croatia and I don't like high season, so, I don't know. But yeah, this day has just been a crazy, a crazy day and I, I just can't wait till this is over. I have to catch a bus tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. 
and it's a 20 minute walk to the bus station or a 15 minute walk to the bus station and of course on the internet it says oh yeah it's a 10 minute walk this hostel that i'm staying at everything on their website is like a complete i'm not gonna say it's a complete lie but it's like it's not the truth okay so it says it takes 10 minutes to walk to the bus station it takes more than 10 minutes to walk to the bus station um it says it takes 20 minutes to walk to the city center it totally took me like 40 minutes to walk to the city center it says they also say that they accept credit cards right of course they don't accept credit cards but you know i'm not knocking them for that one because a lot of places in the balkans don't accept credit cards and i totally understand why they don't accept credit cards it's because of the transaction fees like i totally get it but it's just one of those days like i'm just not having the i'm just not having a good time like, i'm just gonna go ahead and be honest and say this to you guys out of every country i've been to montenegro is my least favorite and people have always asked me like what's your least favorite country people have always asked me and i've never told anyone a country because honestly i've never had a country to tell anybody like the closest country i can think of that i just really don't like is like well, i don't want to say the name of it because i'm afraid to say the name of this country but yeah anyway <laughs> uh don't like montenegro and i guess montenegro will be a country i will be crapping on a lot lately <laughs> or or not I love, I love, uh, so out of breath. I love Macedonia and don't like Montenegro. And if you guys are wondering, I'm not hiking alone. Like there's this German guy behind me. I don't think he wants to be on camera. He had to listen to me. Like, I actually feel sorry for this guy. Cause I, I was, I just been whining and, and cr complaining. And, and, and I, I just finally pulled out the camera and just started talking to you guys. So he's just back there like, yeah. Talk to your subscribers, man. Yeah, so anyway, I, that's it. I'm gonna keep walking. I, I kind of vent it and say what I want to say, but like, we gotta figure this out. So I'll see you guys once we get down there, okay? Yeah. All right, almost at the bottom here. Now there's a pretty large group of people from the hostel that are somewhere around here. I think they're over there. Oh, you see people there too? You see people here? Because you see all these people there? Those could be the people from the boat. Wow, this is beautiful, yo. I almost want to get in this water because I'm so hot from hiking. But I really don't want to do that because it's going to cool off really soon. Wow, look at these rocks. This way? It's easy now. Okay. It's just climbing on these rocks. These rocks are much easier to handle than those, than climbing through these. All right, here we go. We found the beach. Yeah, that's the way. I'm just stopping for a quick vid. Yes, what a beautiful sight. The end, the end is near. Well, no, this is only halfway because we have to walk going back the other way. I think these people know a better route to go back. All right, time to go. So what we're headed to now, we're going to go up to the top, watch the sunset from the top. By the time we got down there, everyone was pretty much ready to leave. Let's uh, keep going. I can't wait to see this sunset. I can't remember the last time I've seen a pretty good sunset. Definitely not in Macedonia because you would have to like go like hiking somewhere to see a sunset there. And I didn't really do too much hiking when I was in Macedonia. Honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of hiking like I once did. Well, I'm not that big a fan of hiking as I once was. Like after the whole Australian situation that happened in February this year, I'm just like hiking, forget that crap. <laughs> but I guess I'm hiking now and it's chill, it's cool. This path is so much better than the path that we came down on. The path that we came down on wasn't, I don't think it was a path. I think we just came down the side of the hill, but this is somewhat of a path.
Oh, check out that turtle. Looks like we made it to the top. Is this like a house or something? Don't know where we can see the sunset though. Looks like there's clouds over there. Like burning up, but it's so cool up here. It feels like an air condition almost. And those a lot of plastic bottles. Hey, recycle around here? Guess we're back on this path. I thought we were done going downhill or, or done going uphill. What is this? Is this like a, like this is obviously not a billboard up here. Was this like a screen for movies or something? Cause we're in the middle of the mountains. So why would there be a billboard here? This would have to be some sort of, what kind of screen for mountains? Or maybe that is a billboard so people can see it over there or something. I don't know. Any locals watching this video, put it in the comments below. What is that thing? Yo, they have churches everywhere around here. Even at the top of hills. All right, got the sunset here. Now I can say I've been hiking Montenegro. Sure, you have to look. It's a naked man making a picture. I'm so there, there's a guy. There's a guy right here, and he's standing here, and he's completely naked, and they're taking photos of him in the sunset. <laughs> yeah, how insane is that? <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh. laughs> you, you gotta love the British tourists. <laughs> oh my god. Um, bye bye, son. Out. Can't wait till tomorrow.